I'd like to call the meeting to order at 631. Additions. I've got one thing. You got, you got one? Yeah. Um, I got a phone call that uh, we need to we need to replace the flag out there because it's tattered and torn. Okay. I had never noticed it, but I looked up there tonight and you can see it's all torn up. Okay. So the flag just a minor. So noted. We can just do right. that. Right. We don't need to discuss it further. No. Okay. For the sake of recording, you want to just say that the meeting started a moment ago? Oh, the meeting that wasn't recorded? Your opening words were not recorded. Oh, geez. Um, calling the meeting to order at 631. And then we move to additions to the agenda. Tom Brazier mentioned the fact that we should get a new flag. And we have another addition that says error and omission certificate. Is that an addition, Jen? Yep. Okay. We have to sign off on the form. Okay. Got it. Anything else? Review of minutes. November 4th. So <clears throat> on the first paragraph, it's Sandy County, not County. Just a oh, typo. Good catch. Oh, yeah. Not County. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Some changes, even though it's from Jack Plato on the ash trees for the minutes. You know, include it in the packet. Maybe I've been So a different format for the minutes, like bigger, bigger letters. It looks like. Is that because we're having problems with our eyes, or <laughs> that's fine? Oh, I don't care. I would, I would compliment. I would compliment her. It's much more readable. Thank you. What did you say? I said it's much more. It's it's more readable. I would compliment her rather. Than yeah. Yeah, it's laid out for like you know, third grade. Book. It usually has big letters. <laughs> okay. Any any other comments on the minute? There were the revisions from Jeff were where were they in our packet? Uh, yeah, an email printed out. Okay. Thank you. Oh. And what is that on the ash tree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to do accurate counting of trees. Oh, right here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Make a motion that we approve the minutes as amended. I'll second. Any more discussion on the minutes? Not hearing any. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. Okay, that takes care of that. And. Oh, we have the review of minutes from Town Garage informational meeting. Here we go. Yeah, I was not at this one. Um, I hope that the first sentence in the second paragraph was qualified somewhat um, that because that would be under a certain set of assumptions and I don't know whether it was the bond bank or the USDA or 20 year or 30 year 
uh, loan that was being considered mm -hmm. there. About the cost being a 360 and a home appraised for 400,000. Okay. Yeah, it was ninety dollars for every hundred thousand. Yeah, but under what set of assumptions? Were, I hope they were mentioned. There was. If they weren't mentioned, then they weren't mentioned. Well, if the yeah, they weren't really mentioned actually. Yeah, okay. I mean, okay. you're saying that if the bond was four point nine or whatever, yeah, uh, that would be the tax burden. Yeah. Right, but I think you were talking about the USDA loan when you did that, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah. See, that was, I was a little unclear sure. on that, on okay. the interest. Yeah. Because I actually have had discussion with a few people about that, about no. the ramifications of the tax no. rate right. and looking at, you know, the payments that would be on 30 years or 20 years. See, that's, that's what makes a big difference. That makes a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. So that was discussed. Let me think. Well, I discussed that with some people after and before the meeting. Uh -huh. There wasn't too much discussion. Mm -hmm. At the meeting, okay. it was a little bit, but, but you know, everyone was under. No one was really asked any questions about that. I, I brought it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there were no questions. He just brought it up. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So. I was just trying to get people on board with mm -hmm. what it was actually going to cost, mm -hmm. them. and it's a rough number. So I said, it could be seven cents, it could be eight cents, yeah, okay. it could be nine cents on tax. Mm -hmm. So. Are, are you there was nothing. Are you satisfied with that set? Yeah, I'm fine with it. Yeah, remarks? I'm fine with it. It says roughly. Mm -hmm. So that yep. covers a lot of bases. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, so whether no, we haven't had a motion on this anyway. I'll move to accept the minutes from this meeting that I wasn't at on November second. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. The ayes appear to have the two hands. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, this, let's see, this is our first meeting back since the town vote, I believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, I think so. So congratulations yeah. to us. For yeah, I was going to take down that banner, too. Pardon? I was going to take down the banner, but uh -huh. I got here later than I wanted to tonight. I should have got here a little earlier so I could take the banner down. Uh -huh. We don't need that up there anymore. Yeah, okay. okay. Just some housekeeping. Anyway, okay. I'm, I'm pleased with the voters yeah. in East Montpelier. Yeah. Just say it was a pretty positive. Paid for this. Yeah. 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 Um, any public comment? Nada. Okay. So, right on schedule, select board site visit regarding easement on a trail. What is that? I remember when, yeah, oh. Ed Deegan came in and he came yeah. in last year to talk about the easement on this trail that. Yep. Oh, yeah. I know where that is. I remember this vividly for some reason. Yep. <laughs> so, Nona needs to be at... I mean, I was going to walk this with Nona because she had comment about this. I think East Montpelier Trails should be involved in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... I mean, Nona is kind of the... She called me about it. Yeah, good. And then we talked about it, and I said, well, I really want to go over there and see what you're talking about yeah. so we know what's going on. Yeah. So what is it they're trying to do? So Deegan wants to let go of the trail top of his house because... Deegan people... wants the town to let go of the trail right of way. Yeah. That's on his property. Uh, and basically, he can't walk on it. It's covered in trees, so people could walk just across this field. They don't know where it is. Yeah. It's, so the trail's all grown in? Yeah. This tree's so over it. It's something of value that the town owns, and there are certain rules we have to follow. But they're not, they didn't realize that the trail was there and that people could just go on. And they can't go on it because it's covered in trees, but... But they could be taken down. They could. It's a town right away. Yeah. Yeah. It's right opposite their house. So, I don't know. I mean, I own the land and I corner onto the the land. There's a bunch of corners of land. Mm -hmm. So Deegan's section mm -hmm. goes down over at to a corner. Right. Uh, and then I have land that comes to the corner. And then San Francisco's old land, which is now kitchen, yeah. that comes to the corner. Okay. And then there's a lot there that T. Clark held out. That comes to the corner. There's four properties at corner uh -huh. right there. Okay. And the trail is on in the, the Well, there's a dead area in there um, that's a no man's land that's 
where the corner is also. There's a, it, the town, there's a town trail going through it, but then there's kind of an, a bubble in the trail that nobody owns. <laughs> yeah. So could yes. the trail like be... Re if you look at a map, I'm like, where's that bubble? It's could, not really in anybody's lane. Is there an option for the trail to be rerouted outside of this? Not, land, not, no, because okay. it, it, the trail has to outlet somewhere. Uh -huh. So it outlets right opposite this house. It, you know, it's not being used, but Nona said something to me about it, called me, so I really would like to meet with Nona or whoever else up yeah. there that knows, you know, what this means for the future of the trail. It could be an yeah. asset to the town in the future. They, I don't know. There's a bunch of beaver up. ponds out there somewhere between Hawkins Old Place and and Deegan's, There's, and that yeah. trail. Probably where the old snow machine trail used to go. It could be years ago. Could yeah, be, but there's a, a there is too. beaver ponds out there. Yeah, so we because I remember riding there when I was a kid, and there was uh, it wasn't grown in at that point, but yeah, it, it, I'm sure. Did it you grown. did it come out on yeah. Codling Road? There? Yes, right up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then we used to cross, go down, and then cross the bridge to the river. Oh, right. Af after. That was built before that. We used to go down Codling Road, go across Route Two on the Route Two bridge, and then cut right. across where yeah. Country Camp is now. Right. Yeah. So my that, that was a trail. That was a Stoneville trail. That, that was 50 years ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My memory is that uh, the Ed's correct that we did say we were going to have a site visit. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did say that. I'd be interested in that too. Yeah. Oh, this is from Jim Barlow, right? Oh, this is the one he sent yeah. last year at this time, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. I could, or I could reach out to Nona and try to schedule something, if that would be helpful. If you want sure. to Go walk ahead. also. I want to be there, yeah. yeah. Okay. I definitely want to be there. I'll. Yeah, because I really know where yeah. all the I know yeah, where yeah. all the markings are on the trail. Yeah, Orders we need to make hand. this an official site visit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fully, yeah. Fully well, we usually do it like an hour before the meeting. For yeah, the it's just it gets dark so early. Sure. Yeah, we have to do it. Yeah, have to do it before that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It might have to be an hour before a meeting in June. Right, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> How how did this come on our agenda tonight? Um, I was given an email by Ed Deegan asking for an update okay. from the board. So. Okay, well, the next thing is a scheduling site visit. So then everyone has to know about it, you know, and we'd have to get in touch with the trails people or owner or whoever. Mm -hmm. So it's going to have to be a time when we can all do it. Yeah. Right. I don't know when that would be. Before the snow flies, maybe? Yeah, it's supposed to snow this weekend, so. <laughs> and I am not going to be here this weekend, so that ain't going to happen. I could do it the following week. Uh, Thanksgiving week? Hate to cut into work time. Yeah. Saturday. Oh, Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. Real. Nobody has any plans. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> not really. Uh, the week after, I guess. That's to be the first week yeah. of December. We have a meeting. Yeah. What day? We have a meeting on the 2nd, right? I believe so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. What? When is everyone free? I don't want to make it just on my schedule. We could do it before the meeting on the second. Yeah, but it's going to have to be during daylight. You have to be there. Be right. Well, four four we could we could do yeah. it at four o'clock and then break and, and then, then come have back. Coffee at Dudley's and <laughs> then come over here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Why don't you see what? Why don't you see what during that week? What day known as free at four o'clock? Doesn't have to necessarily be a <clears throat> select board meeting. If we all just show up at four o'clock, depending on everybody's schedule, we don't have to go back and forth. Makes sense. Mondays at four o'clock work for me. Uh, Mondays at four o'clock work for me. Yeah, yeah you're, me too. Yeah. Okay, I'm around that day. The week, that week, I'm yeah. open and rolling yeah, tell, for Medicare. And, uh, so. Tell Nona we're free on the second. What, that first week in December? Well, it's yeah. open enrollment till December 7th. Yeah. So, so you're busy. So, Monday, Monday, I get done early. So you want to do it at four? Yeah, that works for me. Yeah. Monday at four on the second. Okay, you'll you'll send something out, or somebody will send something out, and then we'll get in touch with the trails people. And yeah, yeah, it wouldn't hurt to have it slightly earlier. I tell you, it gets dark at four thirty. Get yeah. dark. 
Yeah, it's so it's dark. 3.30? We're spreading manure up there right now, too. Should we put a big coating right there? <laughs> <laughs> right, watch right you, watch you shoot for four. I might not be available. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. What's that? I mean, the sun's setting earlier and earlier. I know. It's a couple weeks yeah. from now. Yeah, I know. It's pretty dark around four, right? Well, it's getting dark around four right now. Yeah. 3.30 might be better. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say I can do 3.30 as long as they know about it. Yeah. So just make it 3.30. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Scott, can you make 3.30? Yeah, if, if, I'm, if I'm subbing, I'll be done at 3.30, so I'll just show up. Yeah, that's fine, because it's going to be an hour of okay. traipsing around. Maybe you can sub in East Montpelier that day. There you go. I'll try. <laughs> or maybe okay, not yeah. at all of you, though. All right, that's fine. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, so that's the answer to that one. Um, okay, Hudson House. Uh -huh. I got a few thoughts here. So, what if we just do a right away down through there? Because that was really the discussion was this land that could be developed further in there. I don't know, you know, it's pretty narrow, but if we had a right away down through there, then you that cut covers those up. trees, though, that, that opens that up. Right. The Planning Commission. Push it towards that yes. way. Yes. Where the old town. Where the old town hall, hall was. Cut the trees. And then yeah, then you got time. You, you got, got a way to get down. Right. Away down through. right. The Planning Commission mm -hmm. voted to request to not make any quote unquote hasty decisions about selling before they had time to research. Wait, this isn't hasty. Right. We've been talking about this hour. for months, <laughs> months, years. <laughs> and I didn't hear from the Planning Commission. Are you the one yes. I'm hearing from? Yes. All right. You're saying I'm don't make a hasty the, decision? Yes, that's what the Planning Commission voted. Well, we got to make a decision. They it's wanted getting... to do more research. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. Okay. But. <laughs> they better get in their ass in gear. Only because, <laughs> I, yeah. I know. Are you a but, mover and shaker on that or what? Not really. Yeah. Um, I mean, the right of way, I think the, the only, the only concern was that, like you mentioned, the property beyond it would be an ideal place to have potentially. That's, that's why we're going right, to keep exactly, it right away. Exactly. So that it seems. It covers two birds. Right. Okay. We don't have the expense of taking down the house. Exactly. Right. We, we sell the house for a house or whatever. We put it out there and see what we can do. Right. And we keep it right away. Sorry. Or 60 foot right away on the side there. Absolutely. Which, why Easy not? cheesy, right? So, what about the sentence? Selling the Hudson House would likely make it very difficult to do anything with the back piece in the future because so much of it's in the floodway because access is pretty limited. Where did that come from? There's three. Is that the planning commission? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I heard that there was three. That's not in the floodplain right there. No. Floodway is a term used. Well, I, yeah. always, I always forget the difference amongst well, those terms. <clears throat> It's not, I know it's not in the flood plan. Mm -hmm. And there's, I heard there was potential for three lots back there. That's what I was told to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Sounds like we should have a meeting with the planning commission or some members thereof. You want to keep putting it off, but I don't. I want to get it done. But I want to get the property advertised and cleaned up around there and move forward before the snow is this deep. Yeah. And, and we're not hurting anything by doing that. No. We have it right away. It's covering our asses. Yeah, I, I would like to hear from planning commission, see if they come to our Well, I just meeting. heard from one yeah. as a member. I, I, I mean, that's that's what I that's the clarifying email that I got was that was yeah, well. unfortunately the decision. I think there, but that's that's what I that's all I can report from the group. Yeah. I can't speak anymore as an individual. Like, okay, I tell you what we should do. We should clean it up around here. I was just get ready to sell. I was just gonna say. Yeah. Cut the trees. Right. Get them out of there. Before yeah. the snow goes, yeah, and comes. Get and get it, get it ready to go. Well, okay. So the other thing is, we've got a, a no town. No matter what we do, we need to do that. Yeah, and we've got a town. Um, the tractors there for cleaning the sidewalks. We got to make provision for that. Right. That's got to go away, and right. we should make something over here on our land that we own right here to store that tractor. Right. Because winter's coming, and if we're going to sell that property or get it sold, then we need to make a plan for that. Yeah. That other tractor leave yet? I don't think so. And so I'll put pressure on certain people to clean up their belongings out of there. Okay. 
and get it cleaned up, which won't hurt anything anyway. Mm -hmm. No. Right. And we won't advertise it for sale yet. No. And but chill, I, but I tell you what, they got to get it done. Sense. Yeah. I am not, we cannot keep dragging our feet on this stuff. So we invite the Planning Commission members? Supposedly, Zach was meeting? supposed to say something. He hasn't sent us anything. Are you the messenger? I, I, I was the messenger, and that's like literally the vagaries that we voted on Okay. last time. And when's the next? Well, we have a meeting December 2nd. Yeah, that's coming up. We have a meeting, meeting this Thursday. We have a meeting Tell this them Thursday. that they got to be at this the meeting. Somebody's got to be at our meeting on yeah. December 2nd. Uh -huh. Or else we're going to yeah. move forward. Great. Okay. Yeah. But we're can we at least get the trees cleaned yeah. out of there? Yeah. And, know, and equipment. And i got to figure out what to do with the Kubota, or we do. Right. We, we have to build something over Can there. we yeah. ship that temporary shed over there? Oh, yeah, we can. we got to move blocks, the waste blocks anyway. Easy to do. The only thing we have to do is pour a concrete pad over there, which isn't much. But we got to do it. Do we need a permit? Got to get it done. I don't think so. We need to get a permit over there. Yeah. It's a temporary no. structure. No, for a concrete pad? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm I don't know. I pour concrete every day. Yeah. I never get a permit. Yeah. <laughs> your egg. <laughs> your yeah. your egg. So. You, know, you don't have to have a permit to pour concrete. Uh, technically, I think you do. Really? For, for Not a concrete structure. Pad. But if it's a temporary structure, uh, the yeah. structure, I know we didn't have Well, it's to definitely that. temporary. Uh, can we ask Jen to put that to our zoning administrator? Sure. sure. The way we did it over here was five yard minimum. That was about a thousand bucks. That's what it costs. Right. Is right. the road crew that does all that work? I think they, they did do it. The, I yeah. mean, moving there. it and taking down the trees? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know about taking down the trees. Some of those are pretty close. You might. Oh, those trees? No, no. I thought just the oh, temporary okay. structures. What you're saying? Yeah, I, yeah. Exactly. I don't know. The Which tree, trees? Think, do you mean the trees right by the trees right on the, on the property? On the, the border between? Yeah. The two? Yeah, the, the ones that are on our property. Yeah. Well, we don't really have to do that now, though, do we? I guess we don't have to, but it would right. be easier to do before snow flies. Yeah. Is my but, my. but basically, if we pull our plan together, we do have to get it right away. I mean, we already own that lot. Right. It's 65 by 100. Right. Um, so, I mean, we just have to make sure we can get off the 65, off the 100 length. Yeah. Because I don't know the line right there. Does the Hudson property wrap around the back of I that? I don't know. You see what I mean? To continue on. Our uh, lot. Uh, where is it? Where is the back line? It, no matter what we do, we got to get it surveyed anyway. We probably do. We probably should. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it was problematic on the lines before because there's some right of ways there that aren't very delineated. Okay. There's a right of way that goes to the cemetery already on this side of it. Right. Yeah. So. I'm not. Sure. We already looked up um, if there was a survey that wasn't. There is not a survey. I don't survey. think so. Is there no. a survey on the property on yeah, either side? Yeah, there it? is some, yeah. If, if the, we've got something to go on, that's, yeah. that makes our survey a lot easier. But to the do. thing is that the way we're thinking about it, if we sell it, we've got to have a survey. Right. So we got to have to pull the trigger on that. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's we, a lot easier to do before you get snow. Well, it's hard to get somebody, you know. We should probably look into that. But like I said. Hmm. The thing is, in order to do the survey, we got to have some goals in mind too. Are we just going to keep it right away, right down through? Which is what I'm thinking. That seems to make sense. That's yeah. what makes sense to me. Yeah, 60 foot right away, right down through it. Yep. We could narrow it up and go three rods. There's 50 foot. Yeah, you could with the variance. You think? Yeah. Oh, because the right away has to be 60 feet by state. So let's do it that way then. Right. If the, if the lots are landlocked, you mean it has to be 60 foot right away? Right. So, yeah. So, like when I lay out lots, anytime I've done it, it's got to be a 60 foot right away. Yeah. The only time that it wasn't is, and it wasn't my lot, it was uh, when Catlin built yeah. Minister Road. That's a two, three rod right away. Yeah. That's a 50 foot. Yeah. About whatever. But, but I think in order to do a survey, we have to have like, our, some goals in mind. Are we going to talk about right away? I think we should. 60 foot, sounds good. Right from the road, yep. all the way to the back. Yep. So, 
that's if we move ahead with selling house. Yeah. Now, if the planning commission needs to talk to us, I'm trying to think about what do they got to talk about? I was going to say, what do they got yeah, to I don't, talk about? I don't get it. I mean, we're it's providing. Not, it's really not any concern of theirs. Well, we asked for thoughts about it, but we've gotten right. some information, and we're preserving our need to get to the back by the right of way. That's so right. that's it. Sure. Yeah. I think so. I mean, when do you have a meeting? This Thursday. Why don't you, can you put that on the agenda? Or yeah. just bring it under either business? Yeah, definitely. And see what they, if they want to come to the December 2nd meeting, they can. But we need to know what their thought process is. I and guess you can I mention don't know why they would have a problem with us creating a right Yeah, me either, but let's put that out I there. I don't understand. We'll put it out there and we'll start working on cleaning it up. So maybe what I failed to mention is they, there's a, there's a thought that merging lot 49 with adjacent lots could lead to, wait, they think that effective development might be jeopardized if the town were to sell off lot 49 because... Lot 49 is where the old town hall was? I think that's, they're, they're, he's referring to the Hudson House. Oh, the house? Yeah. If we sold the house out, it would jeopardize future development? Because I think, I, and again, my understanding was that because of the small, the smallness of the area behind it, they were thinking that only by merging the house, that house lot with the other lots beyond it could make the most dense oh. developments. Well, that lot's not even an acre. No. Yeah, so. So I think okay, it's bring, 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 bring it up. Just bring it up. Bring it up. We can always go to the December 2nd meeting if there's a big fluff about yeah, it. Yeah. But well, meanwhile, we're going to move ahead and clean it up and do it again. Sounds good. Yeah. And we got to move that structure over here for the, the photo. Yeah. All right. Okay. Are we going to do asbestos abatement? Just well, if we sell, like we don't have to worry about no. it. Okay, okay so the thing is, it's $90,000. It's going to cost us to take care of that. And to, it's to, probably better, what's that? You, to do the asbestos abatement alone, or the No, the whole thing. Demolition? The okay. whole thing. Okay. It's about 90000 okay. That's a lot of money. Yeah. And so, the thing of it is, somebody would, yeah. could buy it and renovate it, and yeah, there, there's things they can do to mitigate that asbestos in place. Yeah. And then we don't have to worry about it. Then we don't it. have to worry about it. And that's three cents on the tax rate. So that's right. A lot of money. Yep. And it's, if we sell it, that's three well, cents it, it more to us. Well, not only that, but, you know, it could give us some more affordable housing. That's coverage. right. Exactly. Without us having to foot the bill. Without us having to foot the bill. Yeah. So if we could do it, I think that's a good idea. But anyway, you can, you yeah. know what we're thinking, so that's great. All right. Next thing is, oh, I get it, this is good. Uh, town garage discussion. So I lost the kickoff meeting time. Andy called me and said that we were not included on the kickoff meeting email. Were you? Uh, nope. No. 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 So he told me, uh, he walked past my house on Saturday and said there was a kickoff meeting that's coming Friday. Right. Oh. But I lost that email. So okay. he called me on Friday okay. and said, you know, you and I are not on the email chain. Okay. I'm like, oh, but when's the meeting? And then he emailed me. No. He got me included in the email chain okay. in himself. And then the kickoff meeting is this Friday, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I remember, but I lost the email okay. somehow. And Guthrie, is Guthrie expected to be at that? Because he wasn't aware of that when I talked to him. He was not aware of it either. I had talked to him yeah. this morning. I don't know if he needs to be part of that. Not a bad idea. So what time is it? I got a sense from him that he just as soon concentrate on the roads. Yeah, well, he's got a lot to do. Yeah. Um, so the meeting is on Friday. I'm not going to be here. What time is it on Friday? Um, I don't have the email. Oh, you didn't get the email either? Uh, Who's organizing this kickoff meeting? I didn't get it either. Um, I'm not going to be. <laughs> this is that's why Andy called. Andy said, "Are you aware there's a kickoff?" Who, like, who's no. left to organize it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I said, "Well, seems like we should know." 
So then I got an email, and then somehow I lost the email. So I got the email of, so when's the design kickoff meeting from Andy? And then I didn't get any answer. Right. <laughs> so and I got an answer, but I lost it. Oh. So, okay. <laughs> so you're sure that you didn't hallucinate that? that there is a, no, I'm not sure problem. about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've driven 2,000 miles in the last four days. Oh, and one of these drives, it's oh, like I, I was talking to Andy, you know. <laughs> Kim says, call Seth, he's driving. I'm like, okay, blah, 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 you know. And then I thought I saw it. And then I, oh I don't know God. where it went. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So let's find out when the time is. Now, okay, need boundary survey completed, including topography. So they kept talking about the wetlands, which I cannot figure out. There's no wetlands on the site. Not, not on the site, but there is behind. behind. There is behind, behind, and I flagged it with the engine. I walked around with a wetlands woman, yeah. and we put flags up. So the wetlands is already looked at. Yeah. 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 Because I know they look at it in It was Dory, right? We, were talking we about. spent a lot of time going on looking okay. at the wetlands. Were you in that as well? No, I didn't come to the walk, but I remember okay. planning and like coordinating okay. with the wetland yeah. advisor. And yeah, Dory. Yeah, I was there Dory with Seth. Yeah, you and I were there. Dory, yeah. And then you had to leave. Yeah. And yeah. then we walked down the bank and put flags up and blah, blah, blah. So, so. And then I saw that they needed pictures of the flags or something. You didn't see that? Huh. I thought you forwarded. I've got some flags at home. I can take pictures. <laughs> I got flagging too. I can go down there and put it up. <laughs> okay, so okay, so that and needs to be. And then I didn't understand the next sentence that the ZA says a boundary adjustment will need to be done. I don't have any problems with that. But then, along with the DRB approving a conditional use. I mean, if, why? if the main site is already being used for a town garage, why do we need? We approval? don't need that. I don't get it. I don't, I don't know what he was smoking when he <laughs> huh. talked about so that. I'd Who like said that? The, uh, the zoning administrator. Zoning administrator. Kevin? According to the select board memo. Huh. It's in the paragraph two. David Roy said we need a boundary survey completed. Oh, he's not RZA. No, but continue. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yes. So, do we want to ask him for huh. clarification? Okay, yeah, about Dory that? Barton left, and I was there, and yep. left a few flags. Exactly. Yep. Um, so, I guess that's not up to snuff. I, I don't know. And, per the boundary adjustment need to be done. Hmm. So, thinking about it, part of the existing site is on the two lots, mm -hmm. not the building. Right. Right. So I guess we gotta have that adjustment. Somehow. So do, didn't we already order that or no? I don't think we ordered that. It just came about we need it. Okay, we gotta get it done. Okay. What, Chase and Chase to do that? Um, I guess Bradley Wheeler was recommended. Who's Bradley order? Wheeler? I don't, he's at Wheeler Environmental, apparently. They don't do surveying. Don't they? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just reading what's here on the memo. Yeah, I see that. I see it. it. Yeah. The boundary adjustment can be done as an administrative permit by the ZA, but they need a survey, right? Huh. As a combined law subject to plat recording requirements. Okay, so we've got to get the... I know it's got to be surveyed. But, yes. But I don't see where there has to be any kind of, I mean, the permit. Permit. I don't need it. I mean, I, it, I don't know. Okay. All right, well, we better get the survey done. So we need to get a survey. So that, that's all I can say. I just looked at the Wheeler Environmental website and I didn't see the surveys were amongst the services I don't think they were they advertising. Did. I think it's a case and chase thing, or another survey or whatever. Mm -hmm. Can you just write that down that we need to get a survey now? Okay. Okay, so... The 
WEC Engineering. Yeah, so we have to take out a new membership in WEC for the, the property. I mean, don't we already have electricity at the town garage? Why would I, I we think have to take out a new membership? I don't know. This is I'm, I'm, I'm reading the memo and just trying to figure it out. People thinking stuff. <laughs> Where is it? No, you just don't do common sense. Forget it. <laughs> Let's just get some more expenses that are going on here, right? <laughs> so wh why is a membership form information in here, Jim? So Andy should hear us said we need to fill it out for the new site. Um, it's an application that talks about you know, like how many amps we're going to need. So oh, more power it's a load use. sheet, like all the uh -huh. specifics on the electricity that's required uh -huh. for the new building. Okay. So. Uh, I doubt it, but sort of. Why wouldn't they run it off the same meter? They would. They would for a while. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. They would for a while. I, I can see how they need the information about the increased load, but I don't understand why they need a second meter there. Correct. I mean, I had two meters at my place, one for the barn and one for the, the house, until I changed that. Let's get clarification. Yeah. All right. So maybe you can check in with what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Right on schedule. EV charger discussion. So that was the estimate that was sent to us, I believe. Yeah. Um. So get the old unit out of there. Put in a new mount base. Yeah. We will be able to hold two chargers. WEC will give us one charger. And the whole kit and caboodle, including the free charger, is $1,100. And it's a dumb charger. It doesn't, doesn't rely on any network. So it just works. Good. Yeah. Sounds like that's the way to go. Yeah. You can always put a second one in. Yeah. Because exactly. I put the base in for two. Exactly. We don't really need it right now, I guess. We, I never saw it when when it was working. I never saw two cars try to charge. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. If it's good with everybody else, do we need a motion on that? Yeah. I don't know. Probably. Yeah. Sure. To, uh, I'll move to. Yeah. Um, accept Dan Cohen's estimate or to contract to authorize the town administrator to contract with Don Cohen to perform the EV charger retrofit. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Winter roads policy, I assume this is the same policy we usually look at. Comment on that? You know, I'm, this is a routine thing that yeah. we we yeah, approve. Yeah. Just looking at it with fresh eyes now. Oh, good. Um, I don't know that we need a motion to approve it because I'm not going to change any wording. Uh, my suggestion is not to change the wording. But what about taking the second paragraph? Given the circumstances involved with changing weather conditions, the town of East Montpelier does not have a bare road policy. Why not make that the first paragraph? Oh, I don't know why you'd want to change that. But I would that, just leave it the way it is. I mean, why, I why do you want why to? Want oh, because change. you're thinking that's a good. That's that's just the oh, overarching oh. framework here. Mm -hmm. That uh, hey, it's winter in Vermont, folks, and you got to be careful. And then after that is the rest of its details. Yeah, that's not a bad thought actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not opposed to it. It's a good idea actually because people won't. Read what you're doing is you're mm -hmm. setting up the conversation. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, but we could approve it. As approve it as amended. amended. Yeah, yeah, as amended, right. Even though it's barely amended. Yeah, yeah. it's just changing the order yeah. of the sentence. So you, you, got, you got what that suggestion is, Jen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I move to accept the Winter Roads policy approval as amended. I second. I want a second. second. So I want a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ice have it. 
Um, Winter Rose. Ethics li liaison, 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 and procedure options discussion. So, was Paul planning to come to this meeting? Um, I don't think so. Okay. What he suggested is that we have a procedure in place. Um. Yeah, I uh, I called him um, late this afternoon and didn't get a hold of him. Tried to get him to explain. This stuff to me, yeah. or, or come right. to the meeting to explain to all of us. Wait, well, he didn't get back to me. So there, there's a statute, yep. and then um, there needs to be an ethics policy in place. Um, so in case there's any concerns, someone tracks the concern and looks into it. I thought we already had an ethics policy in place. Well, this is a new one in response to the statute. But I, I looked at the statute today. And to see what the effective date is, because you were saying VLCT isn't planning to do the work until January, it sounds mm -hmm. like, or complete yeah. right. the work until January. Right, so true. the question becomes, do we put something in place until yeah. the VLCT has it or in January? Right, so... Or wait. We so, have one. So right. I looked for the effective date of the new statute, yeah. and some of it takes effect immediately, some of it takes effect next year, some of it takes effect in 2026. And the, the paragraph was about this long, uh, and I didn't want to go through this 40-page, 50-page bill and find out what takes effect when and right. uh, what we're obligated to do now. So I thought, if VLCT is working on this, right. then... Right. Why recreate the wheel? You know, exactly. And we've already got something in place. Yeah. If Paul wants to write a memo to us or come to us at another meeting and say, this is what uh, I'd like you to have in place by January, then I'm willing to listen to it. Right. I don't so, want to invent so, it myself. Uh, right. So we do have one, as a member, that we work on one. Well, we have a conflict of interest policy, but this is, yeah. this is something different. This is yeah. And we further. adopted something that I thought wasn't necessarily policy, but something that was... Suggestions. Yeah, yeah, suggestions. I, I was pretty sure that I saw something la in the last year's minutes that you guys did. It was I longer ago wrong. than that. It was within the year, and, oh, Paul, and Paul brought it to us that time as oh. well. And it was. I thought we did something I don't think long it was before that. I think it was suggestions. It oh. was like a suggestion that. Right. I can remember Carl and I working on something quite a long time mm -hmm. ago. Well, here's the here's conflict the, of interest policy. Right. The conflict this of was, interest yeah, this policy. Is, this yes. is different. This, this is, is different. like an ethics. This is like an ethics code that we were suggesting. But we don't have that. But um. We don't have that, do we? I don't think that I don't think it's the same as an ethics procedure. Can I say back? Can I speak? Hello? Is this the oh, yeah. I, you know, I am not sure, but you might be confusing what you remember seeing with the fraud prevention policy, but that mainly talks yeah. about financial reporting and statements and things and procedures for financial stuff. This is this is different. This was um Specifically, a broad ethics code. Oh, uh, Tom, Tom remembers this. It was, yeah, it was a suggestion. It was, it was, it was a little not. over a year ago. I remember seeing it in the minutes. It was yeah. before I got on the board. It wasn't. It wasn't proceed. It wasn't. I don't think it was policy even necessarily for our town. It was. I think we might have even been voting to um, suggest it to the state or something, but. I, I, don't I, don't, I, don't, I remember I, seeing it in the minutes, that's all. I don't necessarily think we I don't even remember what it said. To be what, whatever we did, it was before this law was passed. Oh, yeah, so absolutely. we were trying to conform. Right, to right, 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 exactly. I think, maybe we, I think maybe we even voted to have this passed. Maybe this is what we voted to. We did do that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we voted for that. Yeah. Right. That's why I that, that. Yeah, that was, that was since Tom was on the Right, yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I'm thinking yeah. of. Yeah. Okay, so what are we supposed to do now? So now my suggestion was just wait until the LCT suggests something for yeah, us. Yeah, or right. if Paul wants to come here or write us a memo in detail right. saying uh, what he would advise us to do. To do well, to listen. Yeah. Right. yeah. But, I'd rather see what the LCT is going to come up with. Right. We, we pay dues to the LCT to help us out with things like this. Yeah, and instead of us spending all our time trying to yeah. You know, invent our own deal. Yeah, right. they're going to do it Christmas and Hanukkah. Yeah, no. Yeah. 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 Okay. And budget season. Well, we had the discussion. Yeah, we did. Right. Yeah. Yep. 
Um, treasurer report, monthly financials, tax sale update, investment update. So we do have a packet of stuff to look at. Okay. Is there anything that we need to look at, Jen? Besides this bundle? No, it's all good. Um, we uh, have two outstanding uh, properties with the tax sale waiting for payment and two paid out of four. We talked about putting in a, a minimum bid for those if they go up for sale. When, yeah. when do we need to authorize that? So the sale happens at the beginning of January. Okay. Do we want to just do that today? Okay, so, so we need to done. know what the taxes Right. Is owed, are owed and right. that's our minimum bid. And we could say yeah, the minimum bid is equal to what the taxes owed on are. Yeah, well, of course, they keep accruing, too. Right, so which is why it's good to put it that way rather yeah, than yeah, yeah. put you a just certain say, number. You don't yeah. put a certain amount. Yeah. Um, and so there's going to be two going up for sale? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we just got to make sure that we have our minimum, the town is putting a minimum bid on that, equal to the li liability that at that point. Okay. I'll, I'll make a motion if you want that. Yeah. To vote on it. Okay. I think I, we should. I, I moved to authorize the town to put in a minimum bid equal to the taxes owed on the two properties going up for tax sale in January. Is that, is that about covered? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Um, so, the money market is looking good. Is there anything else, Jen? Um, I think you have a report in there uh, that talks about how much taxes we collected from delinquent taxes. Oh, okay. Let me look. Oh, yeah. Towards right the end here. there. Yeah, the 3.5 or 3.6 3. 3. million. Mm -hmm. So that's Michelle updated our investments. Yep. Okay. And then she's suggesting that we reinvest the current CDs at North Country Federal Union. Federal Credit Union um, into CDs, higher yielding CDs. Do we have do we have a wording for a motion on that? Okay. It's the term on the CDs. I don't know. Without without more information, it's hard to <laughs> hard to we authorize need, that. Need, need so she wants to do two that aren't mature yet. Says. Why is, why is she trying to wait? Why does she wait? Because the interest they are, could be earning outweighs the fees, she says. Oh. Scott, what were you saying? Yeah, no, I'm curious why we need mo oh, we need a motion because we're going to retire. Whether, whether we need motions on investments, we don't need one every time we buy a new CD. We just keep rolling them over. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll speak to her. Take them out early, that's why. All right. I mean, I'll speak to her tomorrow. I'll be at the uh, CIC meeting. But okay, if you want a motion, sure. Yeah, whatever is fiscally responsible. Which two are there? Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have enough information to make a motion. Right, because I'm not even sure which one she's talking about. Yeah. My guess is it's the Carlton Smith from the cemetery. That's what I was thinking too. Let's see. Because those are the ones that one matures in July. The cemetery is May. That's probably the two. 
That's my There's guess. a cemetery is now, 15. 2024. Do we want to ask Scott to talk to her about it tomorrow, get some clarification for us for our next meeting? That'd be better. Yeah, or, yeah because okay. the, it'd so be I, way early think, because I of think July. she's rolled the one at uh, for the cemetery, uh, first one. Uh, the one is at 5.2 because there's no way it was 5.2 a year ago. Mm -hmm. so, so that one's probably already been That done. one's already been rolled. Like yeah, I, right. I think she's talking about the, yeah, I the two below that. Yeah, yeah. It's those are way it. early. Yeah. I don't know how long they were put in for, but looks like it could have been a year. I was going to say a year. Yeah. I think that was the only way. So so Scott could talk to her about that. Yeah. We don't need to make I'm fine with that. Yeah. yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'll say just you're mumbling. Yeah, we'll report. Okay. Unless something needs to be done sooner, we'll just look at something. That's, looking at these days, it sure doesn't look at. No. It's just that it's, the interest is pretty low. Okay. All right. Um, so we had lost a person on the emergency prepared committee. Linda Fazy resigned. So they want to get um, someone else, and I guess Birgit uh, McCall wants to do it. So we just need to appoint her. Who, who is she? What's her background? What's her name? Um, well, Ben was the one that did uh, stepped in as zoning administrator here, right. and uh, I don't think she's doing anything else for town. They're building a house right down here off of uh, Sandy Pines. Okay. And they live in town. Okay. So yeah, I've okay. met her before. Ben, I know Ben. Mm -hmm. I think she's already been to some meetings. Mm -hmm. She has. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I was. Like, so, I think she's been involved. Yeah, already. Yeah, they seem to be folks that want to be involved. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll make a motion to appoint or get the call to the emergency preparedness committee. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Appear to have it. They do have it. I, I have a question. Where where do we have vacancies now on town committees? And uh, we do on the DRB and the okay. Planning Commission. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. That's right. And we need a minute taker. I've been right. hearing about that. Right. We don't have anybody for the Planning Commission or the DRB. Okay. So uh, let's go back to the election. Rosie did a bang up job of getting volunteers from the yep. town to come in. There are all sorts of people who'd never helped out with town no. stuff before who were volunteering yep. there. And apparently there were several offers of helping out in other ways in town uh, committees. And there was one guy that I was working with who wanted yep. to do that and just wanted to find out where the um, nice. the openings are. Yep. So I've made the inquiry. I'll get, get back to him. DRB, Planning Commission, yep. note taker. Are the uh, yeah. yeah. Minute, minute taker. taker. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will let you know. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, okay, we have the personnel discussion. Do you want to have that now and then come back and do the warrants and the rest of it? Won't take very long. Personnel discussion. Have you have you guys talked about the errors and emissions form yet? Oh, oh no, let's do that. I would appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Then we can get that done. Uh, so is there a form that we have to sign? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, and it will, not affect, it will not affect the amount of taxes being collected. The grand list doesn't change at all. It's just a question of uh, combining two parcels because they're in contiguous common ownership. And when the transfer was made for one of those parcels, we missed the fact that it was Co it was the same owner that owned the next door parcel. We didn't make them contiguous. But then we got a current use contract update last week that showed they were contiguous, so we're correcting that. Oh. Because we, okay. have, to, we have to reconcile with the current use in BT Pi. If we don't do that, then we'll have to. I can't understand anything. So she's saying that lots weren't contiguous when they got the current use report, but there was two lots they thought were contiguous both and the landowner owned both of them, so they merged them. I think, and yeah. but the uh, but they can't do that for current use, correct? Or you, because they, they weren't contiguous. No, that's not exactly what happened. But could you? It, we can hear you much better now. Could you explain again? Okay. Okay. I I put a little note on the paper. Did you guys not get a copy of that? 
I mean, if you took a look at it, it might be self-explanatory. It's on the website. For Seth, it's on the web. I mean, um, got it's on the website. So where is it on the website? Where Jen posts all the documents for today's meeting. It's it's the first. It's right under documents of interest for agenda items, errors and omissions. The first. It's the first file. Thank you. And then she has a note there. I don't see it. Yeah. You have I'm to looking, refresh your page. Refresh looking, your page. I'm looking at okay. it. Yeah, it was put on late, so you need to refresh your page. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I refreshed the page. I see it. Um, so the lots weren't continuous, is what I get uh, out of it. But you see? So active parcel of two contiguous lots now commonly owned values combined is so we're taking the thirty seven thousand five hundred dollars worth of value from one lot and putting it on the other. It just means that they're going to show up on the grand list as a single taxable entity instead of two separate ones, but the amount of taxes collected will be the same. So yeah. it has no effect on the amount of taxes right. we're going to collect or what the total grand list value is or anything like that. It's just a yeah. housekeeping thing we need to do because current use sent us the revised contract with the two parcels on it, showing the total acreage of both together under that one contract. And so they've combined it into one file and we need to combine it into one file on our side so that both sides will reconcile. Mm -hmm. right. it's, kind of just, it's kind of a housekeeping thing. And we thought yeah. we should do it formally like this, even though it didn't make a dollar change. And the yeah. listers kind of debated whether or not it was even necessary to fill out this form. But the book that we lodged with the town clerk when we sent when we set our grand list, as soon as we finished grievances, we set our grand list before we send out tax um, tax bills. This is back in June or July. Um, that book has to be kept up to date. And this is a change we're making to that book. So putting this this piece of paper in that book, and it'll be if you turn it over on the back, well, you can't see the back side. <laughs> On the back side is the place for you guys to sign the original. Jen has the original. And then the town clerk records it, and then she adds it to that book to just make note of the fact that we made a change to the grand list. Ultimately, the change is that instead of having 1,216 taxable parcels, we have 1,215 because there's one of these parcels just became inactive. Yeah. So my memory is, correct me if I'm wrong, Deb, but my memory is if there are two parcels that are contiguous and they become commonly owned, then they are automatically merged? No, they're not merged. Merge would mean that you're turning them into one parcel and as if they have only one deed. They're yeah. simply they're simply being combined onto a single tax bill. Right. And in the grand list, they're treated as if they are a single parcel for tax purposes. But the description on the parcel actually says 57 acres, which means 47 is one, 10 is the other. And the description says 57 acres contiguous with, and it gives the other parcel numbers. So you know it's two parcels that are included in that 57 total. Uh -huh. this, is from the this, is, this is something the tax department decided. Well, two, separate, two separate parcels. Yeah. So that happened to me this year. So okay. I, it did to me too. Familiar with the process. Well, they, yeah. it's now it's just one tax bill. So it's just one, one tax bill. Two lots there. Still, yeah, two. But, but never. And, and you know, some, sometimes this is unintentional on the part of the landowner, and you can avoid it if you want to by making sure that the ownership is not the same. You're on, you know, the father and the daughter's on one parcel and the father and the wife's on the other parcel or whatever, you know. But the minute you put the same person, the same names as owners, yeah. this is how we have to treat it because this is how the tax department has told us to do it. Yeah. And in, in this case, it was intentional. They purposely transferred it because they're going to next year put that second parcel into current use. It'll all just be one big current use parcel for tax okay. purposes. Yeah, got it. Okay. I guess we need a motion. Or to sign the document. Oh, we have something to sign. That's what it says, but I don't. Yes, right. yes. The select board has to sign the back of the document and then the town clerk records it. Do we have an original with the back? I gave it to Jen. I gave it to Jen. It, it looks like it's uh, on the front side. I'm looking. Oh, there we go. I got it. Yep. 
So we'll just pass the round, or I just have to sign. Uh, okay. It's got five. It's got five blanks. As if everybody there is supposed to sign it. I don't know why, but that's what it says. Okay. Got it. Signature select board. Okay, we'll just pass it around. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. That's one thing out of the way. We're getting there. Um Okay, you want to do the personnel discussions? Not going to take that long. But sure. they're going to have to stop recording. Recording stopped. Well, I move. Uh, actually, can, can we keep the recording going? So we have to do it. Go recording in progress. It's seven thirty-two p.m. and I move to go into executive session to discuss a personnel issue. One second. We're looking at the warrants, and then we're going to get the town administrator report. Okay. Well, you can leave. I'll be able to leave your side. Yeah. It's almost <laughs> it's almost five o'clock, and you know how Seth looks forward to, or to uh, Scott looks forward to five o'clock. Uh, yeah, not me. Exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, only got a few more. Only got a few more. A uh, couple more hours with the uh, two and a half people in here, so. Well, you can you can uh, step out. It's fine. Okay. I mean, uh, it isn't that you've been a huge addition to the meeting. <laughs> 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 uh, I'll see you at the CIC meeting tomorrow, sir. I'm not coming to that meeting. The uh, CIC uh, meeting. Uh, no. I don't think you need me anymore. All right, take care, everybody. All right, thank take you for yourself. participating. Scott. Okay, here's the warrant. And did you want to talk to us, uh, sure. Jen? Pretty quick today. Yeah. So basically, deciding which de uh, day in December or what date in December that we want to have the funding request committee or yeah. members come and present yeah. what they're asking for. Doesn't matter to me. So it could be the 2nd or 16th. And do we really want to have a December? Why don't we just have an early meeting on December second? Because no, we got to go to the, we got to go walk around. I was thinking this. That's a good idea. Right? Yeah. Uh, Set schedule our meeting for four thirty, five o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Three thirty is the site visit. Five o'clock the meeting starts. Perfect. Yeah. So Why not? With me. Yeah. All right, with me too. Yeah. Go to bed early. Yeah, nice. No, no, get something else done. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what are we going to do? Like I said, we're going to drink coffee at Dudley's for two hours? Yeah, exactly. No, that's not a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so then how much stuff do we have for the second? Do we have a lot of stuff on the second meeting? Um, for December 2nd, um, emergency preparedness asked to present uh, one of the dates in December. So yeah. that's all we really have. Okay. So do we do we need a December thirtieth meeting? That's an awkward, awfully awkward time to have a meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it all depends on how our budget is shaping up at that point. Yeah, my recollection is we usually have an ex extra meeting in January. I was mm -hmm. going to say yeah, we have had lots of times. We've yeah. had a lot of times we've had four meetings in January. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, four we'll a.m. Have... before this year. <laughs> I'd rather have them in January than I would on December 30th. Yeah. 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 Can we nix that one? Yeah. yeah. Jen, is, is there crucial business that we need no, to just, take up on that day? I was just alternating. Yeah. The day. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we can do the uh, funding request committee on the second. Okay. It should usually fairly quick anyway. Okay. And the, the next topic is the funding request study committee. So um, you capped them at 25K, and uh, they reviewed all the applications, um, and they totaled 23K. They made five different changes um, that are listed there, and then they approved it. 
Uh, the next item is a Sodom Pond easement from the abutting landowners for the Sodom Pond um, culvert replacement project. Yeah. Um, we're still waiting on two. We have Sibley's and we need um, Smith and Pros Prosser and Lindbergh. Yeah. Still, I called Smith um, and I sent letters to both. So I'm going to have the team or myself follow up with calls this week, unless anybody knows those folks. I don't know. I don't nope. know. Nope. And that's it. Not much. Okay. And a new flag, we're just going to get a new one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Really? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Unless you don't want me to. That's <laughs> no, okay. You second? Yeah. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Aye.